Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. This is Vlogmas Day 4. And uh, I really, I want to keep this series, you know, as positive as I can keep it. Because we're, we're going through a lot right now. I mean, we have been the whole year, but it's all, like I said yesterday, it's bulldozing in. I just got off another shift, a uh, day shift this time. Uh, tomorrow I work a night shift. And uh, just receiving correspondence at work about the situation here as it is, as it has for, for other states, you know, um, it's finally hitting like our hospital system, um, with the COVID surge. And, um, so They've moved in um, the refrigerated trucks uh, to two two of our hospitals in our in our my the place that I work in our healthcare system. There's a a, a, a few hospital systems out here, um, and they've done the same at at the other hospitals systems or healthcare systems. Um, and for mine, they. They moved in the refrigerated trucks to two of the hospitals. Because um, one of those hospitals is the headquarters for COVID. That's where the patients are going. Um, and then our hospital is the secondary hospital and ours is, is full. Um, not just with COVID, but with critical you know, patients who cardiac issues, things like that. Other infections aside, you know, a communicable disease. And, uh, it was all, <clears throat> it's all just, it's hitting finally, you know, cause it always does when it hits close to home. Um, or when you finally see it, it hits you. For me, being a healthcare worker, um, I, I, I already recognize the urgency of things. You know, it's all, it's already a thing for me. And so, I don't know what I'm feeling right now. I can tell you that. I don't know. It's kind of going one of these things, but I can't tell you exactly what it is because it's not sadness. It's not, it's not anger. It's not, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I can't identify it. Right? Um, and that usually happens when I become uh, overwhelmed and flooded. And the trucks, I'm sure that the trucks, the sign, the, the sign or the sounds, the symbolism behind these refrigerated trucks is probably going to be a PTSD trigger for a lot of people. Because uh, the trucks, when the trucks come in, that's, the, that's, that's it, you know. And today they announced that. They announced that we have, you know, formally activated our disaster emergency plan for the healthcare system. So, you know, there's like minor things, you know, administrative all the way up to chain of command, for example, uh, mitigation, things like that, that, that change as a result. Even though we, we are a level one trauma center and we are used to emergencies, there's a difference between just like, you know, an emergency of somebody coming in with an emergency versus the whole hospital activating disaster emergency plan. So, um, and this is, a, this is, they're taking this step as um, not just precautionary, 
like, I guess the term precaution is like just in case, I don't know, because we know that it's, it's coming. So rather than it being precautionary, they're just, they're like, no, we're going to do this now for safety, not as a caution. It might come. We know it is coming. I don't know the word for that. Put it in the comments below if you can tell me. I can't. I feel so bad, guys, because <laughs> by the time I film this, I'm so tired from work. Today was a rough day. You know, sometimes, like, it still hits you. Um, EMTs, paramedics, firefighters, you know, you're all, you're expected to be, like, this strong person. And sure, like, it's different when you are, you know, on the job and you see the patient right there. You know you've got a job to do. Um, and it's a, it's a... It's a certain type of personality that takes those jobs, you know. You get in there, you do your job, and you do it the best that you can. And sometimes it hits you afterwards, or, you know, sometimes it doesn't hit you till months later. And with me, um, because of the way I'm wired, um, things don't, I don't feel things when they happen or it's kind of it's kind of um like out of sync basically for me I don't actually identify what it is I'm feeling until like way later I'll have all kinds of stuff going on even at the time then I can't identify it later and it doesn't hit till later. Or sometimes I'll go through something and I won't feel anything. There will be, there won't be any of this. I won't feel anything. And then the identification of what that is comes way later. But like I said, I've, I've, I've been going to therapy, um, uh, for six years. And, um, you know, last year is when I received my diagnosis. If for those of you who are new here, Last year is when I received my autism diagnosis, and ever since, I've been um, going to therapy to help identify, like, emotion or, like, at least the patterns that my brain and my body go through when I think I might be feeling something, and that's the only way that I've been able to tell. I can't, I couldn't tell you off the bat what I'm, what I'm feeling, and so going back to, you know, being strong. <laughs> Um, what I do for a living, I, I monitor heart rhythms. So I watch the entire hospital, including the children's hospital. And I watch everybody's heart rhythms. I'm in a room with a bunch of screens and I can see everybody's heart rhythms. And oftentimes, I'm... Unless staff happens to be in the person's room, oftentimes I'm the first to see somebody die. And I, I, I sound the alarm. And that happened today with uh, a COVID patient on our on our floor, who who we all knew very well. She had been there quite often throughout the year, actually, to get care, uh, not COVID related. So, that happened today. And she was a very sweet patient, too. Um, so 
So I'm I, I'm finally, I think, I think right now, I'm finally processing it. Obviously, I think, yeah. Um, I don't know if it's because of that or if it's just because of like, maybe it's the bombardment of all the information today. Plus that, it just kind of, so that was my day today. And, you know, I, I want, I was thinking that, you know, with Vlogmas, I didn't want to share too much of this because there's already a lot of it. But at the same time, that would be, that wouldn't be truthful. Um, and I don't want to seem or portray the image that I am ignorant to the state of the world right now. So, and you know, with what I do for a living and you know, my entire career in humanitarianism and in um, public service, 15 plus years <laughs> for me, um, I just don't think that that would be ethically and morally sound of me. So I just wanted to get that out because <sighs> yeah, so, but that's not the only thing. Um, for some reason today, when all of this was happening, <sighs> I was thinking about, I don't know, I was thinking about Shinrin Yoku and about a recent trip that um, we took to a very pretty area. I actually have a few of these vlogs um, stocked up, stockpiled. I haven't posted them yet. I'll probably post them this, this month through with Vlogmas because I want to post them before the end of the year um, of a beach that uh, I think is our new favorite. So that's gonna be exciting. But um, I do have other things planned, I promise. <laughs> Happier things, um, including my aloe yogas. <laughs> oh, how am I looking? How am I looking? Including my aloe yoga pants. I got high-waisted, I got words about high-waisted pants and you'll see that <laughs> um, so without further ado uh, yeah here are some clips from that trip uh, to the beach I hope that it provides some peace and some quiet and a, a few moments to reset and to prepare for the day tomorrow because tomorrow is another day tomorrow's another day
You're going to be fun, aren't you? The one that I'm touching right now. This one's a good one. Oh, we can get the muscle. They were out. So what is that? Is that a muscle? Those are, I think they are little muscles. Hey, that's a sea animal. Look at all these little guys here. Are but these mommy. snails? Can you see the snails? Right here? Yeah, but mommy. Yeah? You I found them. Can you see some more? I see a Oh, look at these big guys in here. Weird. Oh, the body. Oh, those are giant sea anemones. I wonder if there's any crabs over here. Hey, watch. Let's see, Let's see what happens. Uh, they eat. Look they at they how they're like eat. hanging off of here. Huh. Ooh, you just let these sunk right in there. Whoop. Yeah, that's <laughs> how they eat. But there's, right, there's one right there, right by your foot. Oh, yeah. That you can touch. Touch it, touch it. I don't think that you're, little, that you're a little fish. They're but shrinking mommy, in there. Let's yeah. go see if we can find some crabs. Oh wait, look at a sea star. Look. Oh, it's orange, it's orange. There's a sea star, we found one. I don't see any hermit crabs. Yeah. Do you see anything else? Whoa, I see something. Where'd you find the star? Huh, it's right here, underneath the rock. Yeah, but we didn't find any crabs though. We found a sea and Big ones. Right here. All the big ones underneath there. Hey, that, you see what is that big thing? What is that big bump These are nice there? and big because the waves hit this rock really hard. So they have to grow bigger and stronger to withstand the torment. So, watch the water. Look at all, all these guys here. Wow, there's tons of them. There's dark ones and orange ones. The red ones over here. 
There, oh, here comes the water. Let's back up. It's not far away. You don't get that big bike from me. Come on. Six, seven. Yeah, hey, was, what are the autos? That was oh, just so he was walk. holding on pretty tight, huh? He was eating. Oh. Yeah, that's what it is. Can you see all the remnants of what he was eating? In there? I see, cool. I, see, I see another starfish, Mommy. I saw another starfish. Mommy, I see another starfish over here. Hey, there's two more starfish over here, Mommy. Oh, my God. I hope these waves do not get us. Uh, Charlie size. Charlie size starfish. Okay, let's put it in the water so it can move. You want to put it in the water? Okay. What? Miso. Oh, is it going? Is it doing it? There's some big ones up here. Oh yeah. You wanna touch those ones? Yeah, because that one doesn't move. It. What move? It's tired. <laughs> oh, I found the little one that's moving. Fish. It's a in, it's a in. How about this one at the top? There. Oh, okay. It's a in, it's a in. Can't tell if it's a hermit crab or if it's a. Uh... Daddy, I want to hold it. I want to hold it if it's funny. Let's take a look and see if he crawls around. 
Got it. Don't touch him. He's gonna be too nervous. Let's see what happens. It's moving. It's moving. But Daddy, I was. Can I pick it up? Mm -mm. 